Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story today, a day after a gunman opened fire on Republican lawmakers at a Virginia ballpark, investigators are still looking into what led the man to commit this act of violence. Police are combing the area and putting out a poster seeking more background information on the suspected shooter. ABC Stephanie Ramos reports from where the shooting happened in Alexandria, Virginia. Gunshots blaring nonstop at this Alexandria, Virginia ballpark early Wednesday morning, just eight miles from Capitol Hill. 26 Republican members of Congress practicing for a charity baseball game, quickly turning into the intended targets. Zach Barth, a congressional aide, recounts those terrifying moments. I was just a sitting duck out there. The team's coach also wounded by the shooter. I hit the first ground ball to Steve and, and all of a sudden we heard this pow. The lone gunman also sending a bullet into the left hip of Congressman Steve Scalise of Louisiana, critically wounding him. Uh, he's in some trouble, but he's a great fighter and he's going to be okay, we hope. The House Majority Whip's Capitol Police security detail, two agents firing back at the shooter from behind an SUV, according to witnesses. Both officers injured, but saved many lives. The suspected shooter, 66-year-old James Hodgkinson, now dead. Authorities now scouring his Illinois home. He had reportedly been in the Washington area for a couple of months, living out of his van, and had a long and public history of anti-Trump and anti-Republican rhetoric, but didn't alarm those who were in contact with him at the local YMCA. He never talked politics with me or anything, never expressed his preferences for or against. Uh, very calm person, and uh, I would never have uh, suspected that he, it, it would have been him that would have done what happened. In all, four people were shot. The congressman, one Capitol Police officer, a staffer, a lobbyist, and two others were wounded. Today, authorities are back out here at the ballpark in Alexandria, Virginia, analyzing the crime scene. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Alexandria, Virginia. Closer to home, a former Miami police commander is looking for a new job today after he was fired. That firing is related to an incident where an officer shot a therapist who was protecting an autistic man. Emil Hollant was in charge when a SWAT team member shot Charles Kinsey in the leg last July. Kinsey was protecting a severely autistic man who was sitting in the street with a toy truck. The officer says he mistook that truck for a weapon. He's charged with attempted manslaughter. An internal affairs investigation concluded that Hollant lied to investigators about what actually happened. New numbers from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement show Florida's murder rate is now the highest it has been in the past decade. Last year, there were more than 1,100 murders statewide. That includes the 49 people killed in the Pulse nightclub attack. But overall, crime rates are down in the state, mostly due to a decrease in robberies and burglaries. Florida is cracking down on those found in possession of fentanyl. Governor Rick Scott signing a bill that creates tougher penalties involving the drug or derivatives of the drug. One part of the legislation includes a three-year mandatory minimum sentence for people caught with four grams of fentanyl. The bill also has tougher penalties for synthetic drug offenders, including murder charges for drug dealers in cases where the buyer overdoses and dies. A violent crash on the north end of Siesta Key sends four people to the hospital. Three cars were involved in the crash on Heigl Avenue last evening, when one of which was split in half. Four people were sent to the hospital with serious to critical injuries. The area where the crash happened has a 25 mile an hour speed limit, and police say it appears at least one of the vehicles was going too fast. We do believe that speed was a factor in this crash, and so based on that, they're taking measurements, trying to piece together exactly what happened, speaking to witnesses that may have seen what occurred, and so we're just piecing that all together as part of the investigation. Police had to close the Siesta Bridge on the north end of the island to traffic. While that scene was cleared, the crash is still under investigation. The Willenda family once again astounding the world. This morning, Irindira Willenda of Sarasota successfully performed several stunts while dangling from a helicopter over Niagara Falls. The Willenda say the stunt broke a world record set by her husband, Nick Willenda. She hung from her teeth 300 feet above the falls. Once I, you know, looked up and I saw my husband smiling at me and he's like, you got this, babe. I was like, yeah, you know what? That's right. Nick was inside the helicopter during all of this. The 36-year-old mother of three spent about eight minutes of the 10-minute stunt hovering over the falls. The stunt taking place on the fifth anniversary of Nick Willenda's high-wire walk over Niagara Falls. 
She also said afterward, John, that uh, she was a little surprised by, by the wind and just the turbulence coming up from the falls. And it was kind of throwing her yeah. off a little bit. Yeah. I bet. So, wow. But she did it, and it was pretty cool. Man, her kids got it made when it's parents' day at school, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they get to come in and say what they do for yeah, a living. <laughs> yeah, pretty exciting. That's neat. Glad everything uh, worked out well yep. for them and it was all safe and yep. everything was good. It's pretty amazing. We have uh, some more showers and thunderstorms in our forecast today. No big surprise there, I guess, but uh, looks pretty persistent right straight through the weekend, I think. So uh, the grass is going to get green and it's going to grow rapidly. Ah, uh, you know it's true. Can't keep up. Yeah, like an inch and a half a day, it seems like. Uh, we're looking at some, a uh, little bit of cloud cover out there, but in the last couple of frames, last few hours, we've got some sun that's poking through as well, helping to heat things up and uh, get the atmosphere cranking. I think we'll probably start producing some showers and thunderstorms again, like we said yesterday, a little bit earlier in the afternoon than we have seen with the uh, more persistent cloud cover. We have a little trough of low pressure located out in the Gulf there. You can see that kind of line of clouds out there. Plus, we have uh, a nice southeasterly flow beginning to develop. I think the combination of that plus our sea breezes building with a uh, little bit of sunshine that we're getting will start to trigger off those showers and thunderstorms in our neck of the woods. They're already building in inland areas. You can see that in Highlands County now, gradually drifting in this direction. I think uh, we have a pretty good chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms again today. We'll go with about, about a 50% chance or so by around uh, 5 o'clock this evening, 4 o'clock or so. And um, as we head into the next uh, couple of days, maybe our rain chances might even go higher. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, John, thank you. Sarasota County has lifted a countywide recreational burn ban. That ban was first put in place on April 21st when our dry weather and the risk of wildfires was much different than it is now. With the summer rainy season now in place, our wildfire threat has diminished greatly. Although the burn ban has been lifted, residents are still urged to always be safe when dealing with fire and to follow local open burning ordinance rules and regulations. Northport also lifting its burn ban today. Manatee County's burn ban was lifted last week. A Northport man will spend 15 years in prison after accepting a plea deal for sexual battery on a child. Stephen uh, Krigo was taking care of a young boy when he molested and performed a sexual act on him. The victim is currently receiving counseling for that sexual abuse. Florida Governor Rick Scott is expected to sign a sweeping education bill today that school districts and superintendents have been asking him to veto. That legislation steers more money to privately run charter schools, requires recess in elementary schools, and makes slight changes to the state's standardized testing system. It also includes $30 million for a program that provides services to disabled children. Superintendents say the legislation will be harmful to, to traditional public schools, as some provisions require districts to share your local tax dollars with those privately owned charter schools. A man has become the second person to recently challenge the Florida Department of Education and how it scores teacher tests. Darrell Bryant defended his writing after failing the essay portion of Florida's teacher certification exam three times. He's been teaching physical education at a Cocoa Charter School for three years. Court documents say Bryant alleges the grading process is invalid and has errors. Department data shows in 2014 the essay portion had a 93% passing rate for first-timers. Passing rates dropped to 63% in 2015 after it was revised to be more rigorous. But a year later, 69% of test takers actually passed that portion of the exam. Some pushback from watch groups at the state capitol. The League of Women Voters Florida branch is trying to stop the Florida Governor Scott from appointing three state Supreme Court justices on the day he leaves office. The League and the government watchdog group Common Cause filed a petition with the Supreme Court. They say his successor should make the appointments instead. Age limits are forcing three justices to retire on the day the governor leaves office in January of 2019. But if, if, if he gets his way, the seven-member court will be stacked with six conservative judges. Liberal justices Barbara Periente, Fred Lewis, and Peggy Kint Quince will be stepping down. Looking for a job on the Sun Coast? Well, job seekers gather today at the Hyatt Regency in Sarasota for a chance at landing a career in the culinary arts, engineering, maintenance, events and services, food and beverage, front office, and guest services. The Director of Human Resources says they have about 25 positions available, so she thought a job fair was the best way to generate more applications. 
Uh, we haven't done one in a couple years, and this seemed like the right time to do it based on the types of positions we had available and the consistency of our season. It has extended more and more in Sarasota, which is wonderful. So we have a more consistent need for new colleagues to join us. Came over here looking for a, a nice career to get started. You know, there's a lot of great entry-level positions for a college graduate, and I thought I'd try my hand. If you're interested, the job fair will be open to potential new hires until 7 o'clock tonight. And once again, it's taking place at the Hyatt Regency located on the Boulevard of Arts in Sarasota. Let's get over to the kitchen now. Our guest today and our good friend, Chef Jamil Pineda, joins us from Michael's on East. Jamil, you always have something good for us. What's on the menu for today? So today we're going to do a very traditional Michael's on East dish, which is a Mali mac and cheese. We've got three different cheeses, cream, pasta, name it. Stay tuned. We will. Thank you, Jeff. Day at four on Suncoast View. Musical prodigies from all over the world are right here on the Suncoast. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. It is the annual Sarasota Music Festival. We'll get a preview of the upcoming Mostly Mozart concert. A Suncoast nature photographer shows off his passion and his unique use of light, plus toys that will bring back some childhood memories, and the Rosemary joins us in the kitchen. Today at four on Suncoast View. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously, but she knows how to have fun too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her. She really brightens their day. She makes people smile. And in end-of-life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. With just a, just a little bit of sun, our temperatures are starting to increase. But yesterday, as the sun was setting at around 8 o'clock, a viewer snapped and sent in this gorgeous picture of a full rainbow. Just absolutely beautiful double rainbow. Enhanced, I think, by the colors of the setting sun reflecting off those cl gorgeous clouds. That's looking off to the west, of course. The sun has to be behind your back to see a uh, rainbow. So absolutely beautiful shot. Looking out east with the sun setting west. Maybe tonight we'll see another one. We'll certainly have similar situation, I think. With showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for today, we have a current temperature of 84 degrees. A little bit of sunshine has brought our temperatures up markedly with a dew point just about where it was yesterday at 73. Again, the whole column of our atmosphere, deep and rich in tropical moisture, setting the stage for more thunderstorms later today. Southwest wind comes in at about 8. That southwest wind colliding with a general easterly flow over the state, producing the shower and thunderstorm explosion inland in a couple of hours. 85 degrees, Wachula, Arcadia at 86. So is Mayaka. Parish at 85. So is Bradenton. Lakewood Ranch at 86. So is Northport. And along the coastline, temperatures fairly uniform with 82 Longbow Key, 86 in Venison, 85 in Inglewood. 
Now, one shower ongoing right now around the Venice Inglewood area. They had some light sprinkles earlier on this morning. Now they have a shower in progress. Another shower located around Wachula. But the biggest line of stronger storms located back to the west on a line that stretches really right down the spine of the state. That's caused by a general flow of air out of the southeast that has been prevalent throughout the day, kicking off those showers. And then the southwest wind beginning to develop with our sea breeze front, picking off a couple of showers, as I just mentioned. The little trough of low pressure helping to destabilize the atmosphere will, I think, lead to a little bit better coverage today. Plus, I think we'll see a little more interaction with some of the the flow out of some of these thunderstorms interacting with each other and creating even more thunderstorm activity in places that maybe didn't see as much yesterday. So the rain chance at about 50 percent is really distributed throughout our population, both near the coast and in inland areas. You can see the holes in the clouds that are helping to produce the sunshine and the, uh, the, the warming temperatures that we'll see for the next couple of hours before things start to stabilize just a little bit. High pressure to our north sinks a bit south. That's the reason our winds twist to the southeast today. And then, of course, those localized currents with the uh, sea breeze coming out of the southwest off Gulf waters, the two colliding and producing the uplift necessary to produce our showers and thunderstorms in inland areas. Forecast calls for sun cloud makes, we'll call it, afternoon thunderstorms and maybe a slightly slower winds flow. Now, over the course of the next couple of days, we're going to be watching with interest this area I've outlined here with a circle down to the south. In the Western Caribbean, the Hurricane Center is thinking that there could be some development here which would drift northwest over the Yucatan and reemerge out in the southern Gulf waters. In fact, they've upped the chance of that occurring from 20%, which is where it was yesterday, to 40%, which is where it is today. Uh, the computer models are still in agreement that this system would lift into the Gulf and then in some form or another lift to the north. So we'll continue watching that. Here's a one long range forecast put into motion. You'll watch a developing low pressure area come off the Yucatan into the Gulf and then slowly lift north. This is going to be a wide expansive area and with a high pressure ridge in the Atlantic, the wind flow should keep the system away from the state of Florida. But it will start to enhance our southeasterly wind flow and may in fact bring more moisture, which will increase our rain chances even further as we head into the beginning of next work week. You'll see that reflected in the long term forecast. 50% chance for the next several days, sun cloud mix. And then as we head into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, our rain chances go up even a little bit higher, Scott. All right, John, thank you. In health news today, risks of birth defects increase with the severity of a mother's weight. Yeah, that's according to a study published in the BMJ Medical Journal. Based on these results, experts say women should ideally be encouraged to adopt a healthy lifestyle and be at a normal body weight before getting pregnant. Previously, scientists found the birth defect increase in obese mothers, but now they say the risk is also applied to overweight mothers as well. Your pantry can not only hold dinner, but also some remedies to a few common medical conditions. The Cleveland Clinic putting together a list of home remedies. Among them are apple cider vinegar and honey. They can be used to treat sore throats. Also, bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast have been found to be a good, good for treating diarrhea. Cranberry juice helps with urinary tract infections, and there's not enough data yet, but researchers are finding that pickle juice can be good for hangovers. Doctors say most kitchen remedies are pretty harmless, so it usually doesn't hurt to try them. Let's get back to John now, who joins us with a special guest from the Oslo's newest play called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. John? Indeed, a very exciting show. And uh, I, I thank you, Susie, for joining us today. My pleasure. Susie Jane Hunt joins us, uh, a cast member, plays the professor yes. in 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas. The scientist. To the scientist, Professor mm -hmm. Aranak. Is that Aranax, how you, did I yes. pronounce that correctly? Mm -hmm. And um, this show, of course, written by Jules Verne, was a, a masterpiece of science fiction uh, written in the 1800s. How does it translate to the, to the screen? Because there must be just tons of special effects, because he describes some really crazy adventures underneath he the ground. He does, yeah. He was one of the first great science fiction writers. And um, we use 
uh, a, an amazing team of designers and technicians, uh, projections, video slides, as well as some low-tech, old-fashioned theater magic to uh, to tell this adventure story. And uh, kind of a there's a modern twist to it. It uh, uses that old classic story to address more modern issues of ocean preservation, for example. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really a great idea. Yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm not going to call this a, uh, a children's show because it is not. However, it would uh, it would appeal to a younger crowd, right? Absolutely, yeah. Kids of all ages, adults as well. It's uh, at its core, it's an adventure story, so kids are just going to love it. Um, but it does hold on to some of those deeper, darker themes of the original book as well. So anybody will enjoy this show for sure. And kind of a new place. So if you don't see it here, you're you're likely not to see it in Absolutely. other parts of the country. Absolutely, catch it while you can. That's right. Yeah. Tell us a, a little bit about what the story is and how it's translated to the stage. So. Uh, Captain Nemo, this, this romantic hero, uh, removes himself from society on his, his uh, Nautilus, which is the first electronic uh, underwater machine ever, which is what Jules Verne wrote about. It's like it's a big a, submarine. A huge submarine, yeah. And, uh, and so uh, there's this modern character of Jules uh, that we've added to the play, who's sort of the narrator and the author. And um, he goes in search of sort of his own uh, understanding of the story and more of a modern take. And, and uh, I come along as the professor, the scientist, who's very pragmatic but adventurous. And, and um, we all go through this incredible adventure together under the ocean and um, learn a lot along the way. So the, the, the quest is to somehow get Go where? Go from where to where? The quest for Captain Nemo is to uh, to isolate himself, you know, and then Jules comes along and, and tries to understand why he's doing that, and then we all kind of um, try to get to the bottom of why that's maybe not the way to do things, you know, that we all need each other to, to help... Uh, help with the oceans and with the environment and with each other. We, we all need each other. We can't be isolated. We, we have to work together to solve issues and, and uh, whatever those issues may be. Great themes there, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and running through June, you said June? July 1st. Uh, sorry, July 1st. Yes. We're in June, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> July 1st. So uh, you'll want to catch it. Just amazing special effects, I've heard. Yeah. Plus, of course, great performances by, uh, as the Oslo standards, uh, standards always produce. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming in today and of sharing course. a little bit about this. Is really novel and, and neat experience for people in our My town. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. We'll be right back. John, when we get back, we're going to get back to the kitchen and Chef Jamil from Michael's on East. He's got something good for us today. And we'll see a preview of the newest fun tech and games about to hit the market at this year's E3 convention in Los Angeles. Our dad is an incredible man, a great father, and a hero who served his country well. He worked hard to take care of us. Now we take care of Dad with the help of Granny Nannies. A helping hand and a gentle heart. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422, 800-685-6422. Drive into Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota and discover big savings during the Drive and Discover event. 
Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of Ram trucks. Get maximum cargo space and more comfort with a new Ram quad cab for as low as $24,999. Or get more legroom and maximum comfort with a new Ram crew cab and save up to $10,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. Granny Nannies, we've been making house calls for over 25 years. When you need home health care services, there really is no place like home. Grandma! A helping hand and a gentle heart. Want to look ahead at what you'll probably be buying for your kids or grandkids this year? Well, the biggest video game convention in the country is happening right now in Los Angeles. And with it, big reveals of the newest games and technologies. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has a look at all the excitement at this year's E3. It is the place where playing is serious business. You know, to get the world. Where the future of video gaming becomes the present. A lot of people aren't going to be able to play these games for like another year, sometimes a year and a half. The annual electronics entertainment expo known as E3. E3 is like the Super Bowl of all video game conventions. Underway in Los Angeles. Here are some of the biggest names in the industry, including Nintendo and Sony, show off their newest products and games. From titles geared toward true gamers. It's awesome. It's amazing. To family friendly fun with some classic characters. And it's something that you play with a smile on your face. And this year, there is a lot of buzz over Microsoft's newest console Xbox One X. As well as the latest technology. And you can weave up. Up, down, dodge things. You can dodge it. Oh, yeah. With virtual reality. And we're showing you what's, what wireless can do for VR. And for the first time ever, the doors are open not just to media and gaming insiders, but to fans as well. You know, it's kind of an amazing feeling. And they're giving it a high score. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Banana, Los Angeles. All right, let's get back to the kitchen now. John is there with our guest today, Chef Jamil Pineda from Michael's on East. John. And this has been served up a couple of times already during this noon broadcast to our guests, and they loved it. They loved it. They loved it. So tell us what you're cooking. So we got a, a traditional Michael's on East dish right here. Basically, we uh, took a uh, Molly Clover, Michael's Clover's daughter, and we had uh, mac and cheese. So they, we created a nice mac and cheese with truffle oil. Mm. And it's so simple to do that we got some heavy cream right here. So we're going to put that on the uh, right first. You can see there's a lot of cream going to this. We're going to put some parsley we just around it just to give it a little color. It's not really nothing much to that. We got some nice uh, kosher salt right here and some black pepper. Now, see how nice that looks? So mm. now. Well, oh, we you do. keep it hot, don't you? Oh, yeah. So, Mike, we don't really put this on a uh, water. We don't put the pasta. So we want basically the cream to have all the flavor of the pasta. So we're going to go ahead and add some of the pasta right here. Mm. Okay, and, I'm liking it already. All righty. So once that cook, we're gonna just going to go ahead and take a little bit of the white truffle oil, mm -hmm. which is very, very uh, aromatic. And we're just going to pull around this so you can get that nice flavor to go in there. Oh, you can smell it already. So, oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. we let that to start boiling a little bit. And let's see, we're going to take those out of there. So you can see, you're going to start boiling and blend it together, which mm. is kind of cool. Now, this dish, you want to put it in a nice hot pan so the cream starts really to uh, start working. I mean, once you start adding pasta and stuff like that, it cools down. Real fast. And real fast. So you want this to start boiling nicely. And then we got three types of cheeses we got some Gruyere right here, which is a nice French cheese. So we got three different types of uh, countries in here, so it's going to be kind of fun. So you can see it has a little bit of just of that cheese. Mm. Not really. We got some Parmesan, some nice Italian cheese. So we don't leave anybody cheesy. <laughs> and then we got some uh, Swiss cheese. So we're going to put that all around. If you can see now, this is a nice, one of the nicest mac and cheese you'll ever have mm. here. Nice. And then you just toss it a little bit. You can do that with a spoon at home. But you can see right now it's starting to... Uh, Get nice and thick, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to let it cook until the pasta starts spending a little bit. And how long does it take to, uh, to to cook down? Well, it takes about depends. I mean, if the pan, pan is hot, if you're looking at it, between five to six minutes. <laughs> if you're looking yeah. at it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can see here, I mean, we're getting a nice. 
thickness just from the cheese itself right mm -hmm. now. We're getting uh, the pasta is going to start cooking a little bit. It's going to release some of the uh, starch. So this is a pretty quick meal to make. It's a quick meal and yeah. it's a very good meal. Uh, as a matter of fact, for kids, it loves it. Oh, if they want okay. truffle mac, we, yeah. right now we get the kids coming. We just throw some cheddar cheese, no truffle, and then just you get a nice yellow uh, mac and cheese. But this thing is one of the traditionals uh, at Michael's. Everybody that comes, almost every table has it. Everybody loves it. Oh, is it on the, uh, it's on the dinner menu and the lunch menu? Yeah, the dinner menu and lunch menu. Both so, of them. So both of them. I can't wait to try it, actually. We have a uh, final product sitting over here. You can take a look at that. That's a recipe for it. It's available at mysuncoast.com. And you can get all the information there, including the video instructions from Chef Jamil himself. Sir, have a great summer. Enjoy it. It's always yeah, a pleasure you. having it's you in the kitchen. It's a pleasure to be here. Can't wait to sample this. Well, look at this. Nice and oh, thick now. That's looking good. All right. Bring it up. I'm ready to go. All right. Let's put it in here right here. Mm -hmm. if Thank you. Can you. Put it in a nice bowl. While I eat, we'll go to break. I'll be right back. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Get ready for the most hair-raising event of the summer. Belt Entertainment and the Ringling Museum present International Circus Superstar Bello Knock in Incredibello, a gravity-defying, laughter-inducing, super stunt performance live in the historic Oslo Theater. Don't miss out on the must-see event of the summer, Incredibello, playing June 13th through July 29th. For tickets, visit ringling.org today. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service, quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And ALT named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $229 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News, we're here for you. Welcome back. A follow up now on an American college student who was released this week from North Korea. His family giving an update on his condition this morning. ABC's Maggie Ruley has more. I knelt down by his side and I hugged him. Wearing the same jacket his son wore while being interrogated in North Korea. Otto Warmbier's father so speaks proud. for the first time since Otto came home. We went for 15 months without a word from or about Otto. They learned just last week that their son has been in a coma for more than a year. North Korea is a pariah regime. They're brutal and they're terroristic. We don't believe anything they say. 
For the past 18 months, the 22-year-old was being held prisoner in North Korea, sentenced to 15 years hard labor for allegedly trying to steal a political poster from his hotel. I've made the worst mistake of my life. Warmbier's release comes after secret talks between U.S. and North Korean officials last month in Norway. We received a very nice phone call from President Trump. Warmbier's father credits the current administration for his son's release. North Korea says they let Warmbier go for humanitarian reasons. North Korea also claims that Warmbier fell into that coma after contracting botulism and taking a sleeping pill. But State Department officials say they do not yet know exactly what caused his coma. The hospital says Warmbier is now in stable condition but has suffered a severe neurological injury. We expect to hear more from his doctors later this afternoon. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Police say the death toll in an overnight attack by al-Shabaab extremists in Somalia's capital city has now risen to 31. Many of the victims were killed at point-blank range in a popular restaurant after the, the attackers hunted them down. Police say nearly 40 people were wounded in the assault that began when a car bomb exploded outside. Security forces ended the siege Thursday morning at the extremist snipers fired on them. Officials say all five attackers were killed. Authorities in South Carolina are looking to quell a riot that broke out inside a prison. The riot broke out overnight at the Trenton Correctional Institute. At one point, at least six correctional officers were being held against their will, but deputies say they have been rescued. At least one person suffered non-life-threatening injuries, but it's unclear if that person is an inmate or an officer. Still unclear also what sparked the riot or how many inmates are involved. Here in the Sun Coast, we uh, we saw burn bans lifted today in Sarasota County yeah, and in how Northport. About that? And uh, I mean, the, the the threat of wildfires is really low now, and and it, yeah. even our drought uh, is getting much better. Yeah, I was really happy to see that. You know yeah. what? With Fourth of July coming on and everything, uh, it's, it's nice to see yeah. that the. Uh, the drought indexes have responded appropriately. This could be, you know, over the course of the next week or so, absolutely drought-busting rains. So uh, it should be it should be a very nice thing for, especially people who rely on uh, watershed to uh, produce their 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 drinking water or the uh, deep wells. A lot yeah. of people are on deep wells in uh, inland areas. So hopefully this will help recharge some of those aquifers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're looking at some nice weather outside right now. A little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of sun. A few rain showers in progress, but not the heavy rain that we anticipate seeing a little bit later on today. And some of the showers that we see develop later on could indeed be really heavy stuff with uh, some pretty good thunderstorm activity as well as we start to see the showers and thunderstorms building on the spine of the state gradually drifting in this direction. You can see the holes in the clouds that are providing us with uh, the heating necessary to produce the showers that are in progress currently. Mostly in Highlands County, but gradually drifting in this direction. Our sea breeze beginning to build, producing a few scattered showers now to the south. We'll look for a good 50% coverage. I think better coverage today than we saw over the last couple of days. That occurring in the mid-afternoon through the early evening after a daytime high in the upper 80s. Complete forecast coming up in a few, Scott. John, thank you. A follow-up now on that deadly fire at a London high-rise. Investigators releasing new video from the inside of the building as they work to account for the many still missing there. Molly Hunter reports from London. As the inferno blazed, escaping from these top floors seemed unimaginable. And now the first video from inside. We're stuck on the 23rd floor! Hello! Too many people stuck upstairs! The fire spreading within 30 minutes from the 4th up to the 24th story. And more than 36 hours later, many still missing, still unaccounted for. We are angry. I'm not going to lie. The locals are angry. This could have been prevented. Lives didn't need to be lost. And they're lost and people are looking for their children and it's so unfair. But many also still hopeful. There's a little bit of hope in me thinking that hopefully he's unconscious somewhere in a hospital and they just haven't identified him yet and he's OK. But my gut feeling is not good. And the fire brigade saying this morning, this is now a recovery operation, no longer a search and rescue operation. Dozens remain in the hospital and that death toll expected to rise. Sadly, I can confirm that the number of people that have died is now 17. We do believe that that number will sadly increase. Drones overhead to gain visibility into those top floors because much of the building is not safe enough for investigators or firefighters to enter. We are going to utilize uh, some specialist dog training teams that we have that will go through the building and the surrounding area looking for any identification of people. 
Prime Minister Theresa May visiting the scene this morning, paying her respects to both the victims and the city's firefighters. Firefighters are still at work in that building behind me, but until investigators can get inside, the real scope of this tragedy remains unknown. Molly Hunter, ABC News, London. Fiat Chrysler is recalling 297,000 minivans in the U.S. and Canada because the driver's front airbag can inflate unexpectedly. The recall covers Dodge Grand Caravans from 2011 to 2012. The company says the airbag wiring can chafe against steering wheel trim, causing a short circuit. Chrysler says so far 13 people have suffered minor injuries from the problem, but no crashes have been reported. Owners will be notified by mail starting next month. Federal Reserve once again raising its key interest rate, bringing short-term rates to 1.25 percent. The Fed also announced plans to start reducing its bond holdings later this year, which could cause long-term rates to rise. Despite these increases, the Federal Reserve says it believes the U.S. economy is on firm footing in its ninth year of recovery from the Great Recession. And even though the economy is growing sluggishly and inflation is below the Fed's 2 percent target, it believes both will improve over time. Not so happy customers in our skies. Airlines saw more canceled and delayed flights in April, as well as more consumer complaints. The Department of Transportation said the rate of canceled flights doubled to 1.6 percent in April when compared to the same month a year ago. Delta accounted for nearly half of those cancellations after being crippled for days by a one-day storm in Atlanta. The airline with the best on-time performance? Hawaiian Airlines, the worst Virgin America. Book lovers from around the state are heading to Sarasota for a chance to get some free books, or at least ones that cost very little. The Something About a Book bookstore is going out of business. The potential sale of the store fell through, and now they have to be out of their location by the end of the month. The catch here is they still have a whole store full of books, or pretty full, about 30,000 in all they have to get rid of. So they're allowing people to come in and take as many as they can carry until June 24th. As for the books that are not gone by then, the store owners plan to donate them. Essentially, we're donating them now. We have people that are coming in representing nonprofits all over. So we've had people that do the inner city. We've had people come in for elderly, halfway houses. So we're just giving them, and people are taking it kind of upon themselves to donate to the charities or nonprofits of their choice. This store, by the way, is open from 9:30 to 3 today. There are still uh, a lot of books left. Uh, Jan's Paperbacks uh, is out the sign on the above the door there. It is in the Northeast Plaza Shopping Center at 17th Street and Lockwood Ridge in Sarasota. When we come back, we're going to check in with meteorologist John Scalzi again, get the forecast for the upcoming weekend, and then a sneak peek at the incredible new show making its way to the Oslo Theater called Incredibello. Fresh out of the box, the Alfa Romeo won us over. We went in skeptical and left in awe of this gorgeous machine. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. What's a nice Jewish girl to do when she can't introduce her wasp boyfriend to her conservative parents? Hire an actor, hilarious and insightful, Bo Jest is at the Player Center June 14th through the 25th, and it's your ticket to a sizzling summer. Call the players at 365-2494 or visit theplayers.org. Don't miss Bo Jest. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. It does things that seem impossible. 
feeling like it could change direction while airborne. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Looking at some pretty nice weather across the region currently, though we are getting some showers in progress already. So showers starting a little bit earlier, and I think the coverage will be a little bit greater. We have uh, 84 degrees the air temperature, mix of sun and cloud 73. The dew point value making it feel kind of humid and sticky outside. 87 almost getting close to the 90 degree mark in some locations. 87 in uh, Arcadia, Lakewood Ranch, Northport, 86 degrees in Mayaka and Wachula, 86 in Bradenton as well. Same thing in Venice and 85 degrees in Inglewood. And we have this little trough of low pressure that's out in the uh, out in the Gulf waters and it has been producing consistent showers since really early in the morning pre dawn. And um, that will help to destabilize the atmosphere just a little bit. Plus, we're developing a bit of a westerly wind flow now with the sea breeze beginning to build, and we've got a few showers in progress. The majority of the rain still falling in areas like Highlands County, but that will be gradually drifting in this direction. One shower now building, uh, getting close to Lakewood Ranch. Uh, that shower just uh, exiting parts of uh, Bradenton. Also have some showers down around Warm Mineral Springs and into parts of uh, Mayaka. And then, of course, the heavier showers back to the west in, uh, in Highlands County. But also some light showers in Wachula as well. The uh, amount of sun getting through is significant, has been across the state, and that's helping to also bring us a chance, good chance of showers a little bit later on uh, in the next couple of hours across the entire state. Specifically, the heaviest of the rain will start right along the spine of the state, and then I think we'll start to see the outflows propagate in just about any direction. It's going to be kind of hard to pin down exactly where the showers are headed. In the last couple of days, you know, we've had a pretty solid direction of, mo of motion with the uh, showers that uh, built. Today, they're going to be a little bit more random in their development and motion. High pressure, the dominant weather feature has brought us a southeasterly wind as it sunk south and moved out into the, uh, into the Gulf waters. That southeasterly wind is going to collide with our sea breeze and the showers and the thunderstorms were formed. So a sun cloud mix, afternoon thunderstorms, a slightly less strength in our wind flow. You can see the showers building in inland areas and then kind of gradually being pushed inland by the uh, sea breeze, colliding then with that uh, line of showers that moves toward the east. You'll watch them move back toward the coastline as the mm, evening marches on. Probably see some showery activity through the afternoon and into the early evening before dissipating as they move out into Gulf waters. Then tomorrow, a few scattered showers near the coastline to start off the day, followed by, again, more inland showers building later in the afternoon and some of those showers propagating back toward Gulf waters once again. It's same pattern. We'll have that pattern right straight through, it looks like, most of the uh, weekend as well. Our daytime highs top out near the upper 80s, close to 90, and then next week, perhaps, even better rain chances. Scott? All right, John, thank you. It's been said that mankind has three fears. A fear of heights, appearing before an audience, and being laughed at. Well, the star of the new show opening at the historic Oslo Theater this week has to endure all three. ABC 7's Linda Carson gives us a peek at Incredibello. Ladies and gentlemen, a true magician is a man who is... Bello? Hey! The show's called Incredibello. It's based around this guy with foot-tall hair. 16 Guinness Book of World Records, uh, they say uh, international circus superstar, but it's more about me and my family. Because Incredibello also stars Bello's daughter. My daughter Annalise, who's a Guinness Book of World Record holder also, is in the show. P.D. Weissman in A German Wheel and On the High Wire. And our host and voice and good looks, David Shipman, a former Ringling Brothers uh, ringmaster. <laughs> Hello, is this your car? Nope. Annalise travels with her dad full time, performing all over the world. Send her for love. I knew from the moment I could walk that, that this is what I wanted to do. Bello has no fear when he's up there, but he watches like a very protective dad when Annalise is performing. Because in live entertainment, there's no take two. 
There's no CGI. There's no second guessing it. And lace is fine. We train and do a trick a hundred times before we even think about putting it in a show. And we train ourselves to make these crazy stunts almost our second nature. P.D. Wiseman performs on the German wheel. Which is kind of like a human hamster wheel, if you could imagine. It's kind of two six-foot steel wheels put together by little cross beams and you are doing cartwheels in and out, flipping around, all sorts of different things just to articulate the wheel and myself and all across the stage. Bello is his mentor. Me and Bello go back a few years. He came, I am actually from Minnesota originally, and I was part of a circus school up there, and he would come and coach us and show us new things. The historic Oslo stage is not high or wide enough for Bello's usual act, so he built a new device to make his act fit. I'm gonna walk on the high wire, lay down, one of a guy's headstands, the splits on a high wire, I stand on a chair, six uh, chairs high doing a handstand. A new apparatus that I built just for this performance, a sway pole. And it's inside the historic Oslo Theater and it's just amazing. No wonder they call this clown a daredevil. Incredibello at the historic Oslo Theater through July 29th. It's only an hour show and you'll be on your feet begging for more. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Can't wait to see it. Thank you, Linda. A tribute to a TV legend, how Los Angeles will celebrate the life and career of Batman star Adam West. Entertainment News is next. If you're trying to balance caring for your mother and being a mother to your children, we can help. It's what we do. Call Granny Nannies today. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. If you are age 85 or younger, a final expense policy for seniors can pay up to $30,000 for funeral and other final expenses. You don't need a medical exam, and you can have lifetime coverage. Your premiums won't increase, your benefits won't decrease, and the policy cannot be canceled. To receive free information about final expense plans from a licensed agent in the Angel Care Network, call now. Call 800-676-1339. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. I dream of the creature by night and by day Wielding my weapon, I slaughter my prey Two thousand cash shall be rolling in dough So hey, you big monster, come out from below So hey, you big monster, come out from below it's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nannies has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. 
Actress Rebel Wilson celebrating after a win against a magazine publisher accused of costing her Hollywood roles. The published article has claimed she lied about her age, origins of her first name, and her upbringing in Australia. The Victoria State Supreme Court jury deliberated for two days before delivering its verdict against Bauer Media, the publisher of several magazines. Now a justice will decide how much money will be awarded to the actress, best known for her work in comedies such as Pitch Perfect and Bridesmaids. The bat signal will soon be shining over Los Angeles in tribute to the late Adam West, the actor best known for playing Batman on television in 1960s. The signal will be lit at L.A. City Hall at 9 o'clock tonight. It's a spotlight with Batman's winged emblem that is shown on the night sky to call for Batman's help. Batman is often referred to as the Dark Knight, but West's children say he aspired to being positive and always saw himself as the Bright Knight. West died Friday at the age of 88. That's a pretty, pretty neat tribute. That is yeah, a I'm gonna very look to see neat that tribute. Tonight. Yeah. And that's true. That show did, I think, uh, <clears throat> espouse positive values all the time, you know. The, the, I, it was campy and corny and all that kind of thing, oh, but yeah. it was never negative or dark no. as some of the movies, which are good movies, have but kind of made the character. Very dark, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it was nice. Thank you so much for being with us. Rain today, right? Yes, that's indeed. That's what you're going to say? That's what. Yes. Make an umbrella. <laughs> we'll see you at five. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School, serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think.